<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and we have a quick tip this week that was sent to me by a friend to use in a tutorial, so I'm going to do that. So if you remember a few weeks back, we did real 3D shadows. This time, we're doing fake 3D shadows. So you'll see as this thing gets further back, it blurs the shadow, and as you get closer, it gets sharper. Just like a real shadow would do if you move the object closer to the light. But we don't have any kind of shadow catcher layer or anything here. This is actually just a straight up 2D shape layer. This technique is really simple, so let's get right to it. So all it is is just one layer on top, another layer on the bottom, both set to 3D. The back layer is black with some transparency. It's at 28% opacity. It has fast blur on it, although you can use Gaussian blur now because it's GPU accelerated or whatever, but sometimes I feel like it looks a little different and not in a good way than fast blur. However, the GPU accelerated version doesn't seem to have any issues with layer boundaries. If you notice in this one, I have these both turned on to continuously rasterize the illustrator layers. So basically this expression just links the blurriness value to the Z position of the top layer. So as you move it away, it blurs out more. You notice on here, I have it multiplied by negative 0.2. And that's because in Z space in After Effects, when you move something closer to the camera, it goes negative. And you want that blurriness value to be positive. The 0.2 just reduces the amount. If you just had it straight negative one, it would get super blurry as it goes away, as you can see. So I set it to 0.2 here to reduce it. You can also set like a tint effect to do this so that this could actually tint in with some color. So like the shadow could get some blue in it or something as it goes away. And what's also cool is that this doesn't have to just be 3D layers. This is a 2D version. So mess around with this effect because it can have a lot of utility. All right, guys, I am Joe from Workbench. If you want to help support Workbench, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great content. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.